video games. It's us again. I'm Mav, longtime partnered streamer, gaming mom, uh, and I've got my lovely, beautiful, in a nice shade of gray, mm -hmm. Snackless. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All snuggled up in scarves today. Mm -hmm. My name's Snackless. I'm a longtime partnered streamer, prior kindergarten teacher, and just Christmas celebrator. I love celebrating Christmas and it's been really fun to talk about some of our favorite things and I'm excited to continue sharing that with you today. Uh, today is also a little bit pre-recorded so if you're watching mm -hmm. this we definitely did not <clears throat> do a costume change and we're back at it again. So mm -hmm. uh, live podcast will return, ret return. We'll return in January and I'm so excited to kind of share uh, kind of our pre-recorded funsies for this month. Mm -hmm. we've, got, we've got a lot coming up and mm -hmm. uh, these are really fun to plan. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's been really fun. We had the, like themes, we got our little outfits matching and we're so excited. So if you're tuning in and it's Friday, welcome to your weekend. Happy holidays. I hope your December's off to an amazing start. Just giving another community shout out to our friends who joined us on Fan House. Thank you so much. We're so humbled and grateful for your support on Fan House. We've had a really great time sharing content there. We post there three to four times a week. So we have a lot of really fun stuff going on there. And uh, happy holidays to you. If you haven't checked it out yet, use code Xmas for your first free month of Dear Video Games Fan House. And this mm -hmm. month, our theme is Winter Solstice. So mm -hmm. a little bit, we'd like to do themed months. So if you're new or if you're returning, this is new uh snacks what have we got mm -hmm. well today's fact is actually a little bit less Christmassy and a little more techy I thought it was really interesting because today we're actually going to be talking about our favorite gaming uh streaming sort of tech things and so I found out a little bit of facts about peripherals because that was kind of what we were talking about today. Mm. The first computer peripheral is considered the typewriter it was created in <clears throat> 1868 but following that, the computer mouse was created by Bill English in 1967. So uh, we started with a typewriter, and then after that, the first peripheral would have been the computer mouse. So wow, a hundred that years. Long ago. But those are a hundred mm -hmm. years apart. Exactly. Like that's how long it took to go from <laughs> typewriter to computer, computer and then mouse. And yeah. That isn't that long ago. That's just in the 60s. Like I know. Almost the 70s, 1967. Um, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Um, it, it really is interesting to see the technology change because I think you and I are millennials. And so we're mm -hmm. kind of in that sweet age gap where we didn't grow up with camera phones. We grew up with phones, mm -hmm. but they yeah. didn't have cameras. Okay. No cameras. And every text mm -hmm. message was like a hundred dollars. Yeah. And you got to it call for free by character. after like seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were absolutely petrified to use the internet. Heaven forbid you accidentally click the internet oh and then get like God. an $80 bill. Yeah. Yeah. I remember mm -hmm. I got grounded because I racked up like a 400 and something dollar <gasps> bill, which back then was, it's still a lot of money, but back then it was. That's like a ton of money. Insane amount of money. Oh, and so I had no. to fold brochures for the summer. <laughs> That's so sucky. That definitely oh. happened to many of my friends. <laughs> Oh man, gosh, oh, no. now you can just stream. Everything's free. Like, just yeah. bum Wi Fi. It's insane. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's true. Um, but you know, let's let's that talk about true. our current tech. Yeah. <laughs> our current tech. Our favorite our favorite gaming. That's, That's the first streaming. time we've synced up. That was so cute. That was amazing. Our first sync up. Our favorite gaming, streaming, all sorts of tech. Um, we're going to go through a few different sections with you and kind of share our favorite consoles all the way up to monitors and everything in between. And uh, maybe you'll pick something new up for yourself this holiday season. Also, keep in mind, mm -hmm. Snacks and I have been uh, full-time streaming, part-time streaming. Like We have been really into the streaming game for the last... Mm -hmm seven eight to eight years yeah um so we've been doing this a long time mm -hmm. uh so anything we bring up if it's confusing or um you're unsure feel free to just message us uh mm -hmm. we are gonna share some of our favorites but we definitely have come from very humble beginning yes <laughs> we've oh my streamed gosh. on the console because that's all we had and we also yep. have used um, older I used a used PC for like the first six months <laughs> literally my first capture card was the Avermedia dongle which I have it which I should have brought it mm -hmm. to show but um 
like I had to use an earbud in it and then a headset and then like all sorts mm. of stuff. So you mm-hmm. can make it work with what you got. It mm-hmm. was super cheap. They still mm-hmm. sell it. Like it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, we did like, come yeah. from humble beginnings and we are grateful to be able to share uh, a variety of things with you today. So um, yeah. hopefully something kind of piques your interest. Let's get started with consoles. Um, oh, so my favorite. I actually love so consoles many. so much. I came from, like, I was a console game. I think, though, that's, like, most of us, right? Like, I played console games. Back in our day. (laughs) Like, literally, when I started streaming, I played, like, PlayStation. Like, that's what I streamed off of, and that was the singular console that I had. (laughs) Really? Yeah, I think I had, like, a DS. Like, that was it. Like, that was all I had. That was amazing. Like, crazy. Um, But I would say that one of my favorite consoles is absolutely the Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Um, It came out in 2017, Mm. which is, like, not that long ago. Doesn't it feel like we've had it for so long? I remember when I first got it, I, like, we, I was, like, run into a Walmart, a town over, and, like, I couldn't Couldn't find it. it. Mr. Matt had to go a different direction to try to get one because you couldn't reserve Mm -hmm. it. People were Mm -hmm. using bots. So you had to right. like use this app <laughs> oh, God. to get the Nintendo Switch. Like, Jeez. excuse me. And then there wasn't Aww. even a game for like two years. Um, but oh. I remember. <laughs> we love our Nintendo Switch, despite its uh, interesting beginnings. We love that it's light and compact. There's tons of party games. And there's also a variety of options, which I love. Um, It just, once again, we talk about this all the time from my perspective, but I just love accessibility. When someone else can get a console that was maybe out of their price range or they couldn't access before, I just love that. So the Switch comes in a light version, which is light and compact. The Joy-Cons on the side don't detach. I don't think it has a docking station either. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of for like solo gameplay, Mm -hmm. Um, but you can pick that up for just $200. They also even have refurbished options too. So if you're looking for something even more affordable, you can check that out oh yeah and then following that there's the regular switch um which is what i have i have two of those i'm so spoiled by my community (laughs) and so the joy cons do to cat detach and has a docking station the docking station is used if you want to play so basically if you want the screen to be bigger so you would dock your switch and then you can play it off of a monitor or a tv so that's really great for having friends and you can pull the joy cons off the sides and add in extras and play games with friends so that's like the best option if you're going to be playing with friends a lot Mm-hmm. And then we have Mavs version. I love how I call it Mavs version. <laughs> Mavs version is the OLED. Oh, the regular is three hundred dollars, and the OLED's only three fifty. So well, I want to. I want to point 50. out too. It's yeah, just the display. <laughs> There's no hardware upgrade for the okay, OLED. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. it really is beautiful. Everything mm-hmm. looks better. The black mm-hmm. is blacker. Like the colors, it's OLED. Um, mm-hmm. But just keep in mind, it doesn't mean hardware updates or anything. Right. Um, but I love it, even though I broke the Joy-Con. Um, I, I oh, chucked it down the stairs on accident. I just like flew out of my arms. Um <laughs> bounce off my wall. It's just like Oh my god. Aggressively can you use, can you use itself. Any, any Joy Cons? Yes, you can use okay, any Joy Con. Okay. Um okay. so I got some Joy Cons, but it's not the same because the OLED is white. Yeah. And the case is white and it's beautiful and it glows and it's amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, Yeah, it is beautiful. So only $50 more you get (laughs) upgraded display and I have seen it and it does look better. Like I'm going to tell you right now, it looks better. So it's nice. If you're picking in between and you have the $50, like I would say, just, just go for it. Um, but yeah, I just love that there's so many options there. Um, let's, let's move ahead to something different. (laughs) Math plays games on a really cool phone. Tell me about it. Okay. So I've been partnered with Asus for a long time. Um, and back in 2019 for TwitchCon, they had this campaign where they gave everyone of their partners a phone to stream with, to take pictures with and content with. Okay, sure. It has been the best camera that I've used on a phone. And I think it's because it's an Android but I don't mm. know if there's like something specific. I haven't really looked more into the camera mm-hmm. aspect, but it was always mm-hmm. my favorite pic- favorite one to take pictures for. So if you ever see pictures from TwitchCon 2019, all the video, all the pictures, everything is from the phone, which That's is really cool. cool. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. um, I've streamed from it. It's very versatile. Not a lot of cases for it because it is an Asus phone. Um, it's my only thing. I can't really put a pop socket on it. Oh, which is okay. a little bit of a bummer. That is a bummer. Um, but 
it has I don't have the stats, but you can definitely look it up. Mine is an older mm-hmm. model. They have newer ones coming out this year that are white, mm-hmm. which are so pretty. Oh, I've been trying to get you. us to get those. I'm like, hey, hello, Asus. Um, we play mobile games. I love you we so love much. You. Yes, we want the Let's white ones. Yeah, <laughs> call me back. Exactly. Um, hello. <laughs> but yeah, I play a lot of mobile games. It was actually my um. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. What is the game? Not Nino Kuni. The other one, Genshin. Oh, yes. Um, mm-hmm. I played a That's ton of Genshin actually on it because I wanted mm-hmm. something because it was before handhelds. It was either right. like a Switch or a phone. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, yeah. I want to play Genshin. I don't really want to play yeah. that on the console. And mm-hmm. so it was my like Genshin mobile gaming phone. That's so good, though, for like a game that you just pop into <clears> that you have dailies to do. Like, yeah. you know, I love that you can just like that's the thing, too, about like Nino Kuni. I love that I had, can play on my PC. But if I just need to pop in really quick somewhere, I can do it on my phone. So that's kind of nice. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. And then when Nino Kuni launched and then mm-hmm. the snacklets took over, um, mm-hmm. it became so nice because I could just bug snacks on my phone while she's mm-hmm. trying to do her right i'm trying to do six thousand things she has on my these, like my pops phone. up popping up while i'm like texting her from my phone while the other one is like ai farming i'm busy <laughs> i need another phone i need a nino kuni phone we need a nino we need to get snacks and nino kuni phone mm-hmm. 100%. um but i 100%. love it so much like i'm such a mmo player and fan and Mm -hmm. you know any way I can play with friends easier and um you tell me snacks like Mm -hmm. I obviously have a specific phone for it but Mm -hmm. um playing on your phone is so not represented enough and not shared because it's on your on your phone like no one's streaming it yeah yeah absolutely and there's a lot more like mobile games have, I think, really shot up in popularity in the past few years, uh, especially now that we're playing games like Genshin and Nino Kuni and mm-hmm. the, the Diablo game and all of these games on our phones. So I think um, there's a lot of complaints about lagging on phones and just like the tech that's available to support those games. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how that goes in the future and if people decide to make changes or switches or if they pick up extra phones. Like I'm very curious to see uh, what that looks like. Um <laughs> Okay, so a console that came out this year was the Steam Deck, and that was created by Steam, came out in 2022, and we, I am loving the Steam Deck, (laughs) but also not loving it, you know? So, like, I love it because it's so cool, and I don't have anything that can do the things that it can do. So for, it has a um, like variety of price ranges. So you can pick one up for between $500 to $800. Um, it's portable and versatile. It is very heavy compared to other <laughs> handhelds. Um, so that's kind of a drawback, but you can play Anything. like a plethora of Steam games onto on the Steam Deck. And some of them, some of them are a little tricky to, to figure out, but some of them aren't. And it's actually been I awesome. I hope they release more games onto the steam deck there's a few like i definitely agree that there could be more but it's been really handy dandy like i just played sea of thieves with mav and i was on the steam deck and it was amazing like <laughs> it was awesome other than the weight it was perfect yeah so it's, it's that's what really i joke versatile. i'm always like you know what the steam deck should come with these wrist guards that literally that rest on your desk with your elbow where you can just yeah, <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> crab yeah. hold it up <laughs> like seriously or something for your lap like i don't know other it than the way we love it it's a handheld laptop so it's not a streaming like you can obviously mm-hmm. stream games from the steam which i have done on it which is fine mm-hmm. it also when you stream games to a handheld, there's going to be a little bit of delay, a little bit of lag mm-hmm. here and there. Um, nothing crazy, but it is essentially a laptop in your hands. So mm-hmm. keep that in mind. And yeah. some games are optimized for the handheld. Yes. So yeah, a couple of games I had to um, return, actually, because yeah, the, the, they were right. The, the text was hard to understand. The things weren't connecting. Um, yeah, so there's definitely some bugs there, but I still would recommend it. It's I really recommend cool, it. and they're working on it. Like yeah. they're working on it, and they're the biggest a lot library. Of like the like, mm-hmm. there's no library or platform that can compare to Steam's mm-hmm. library and as a platform. So the fact that they yeah. have their own handheld is really smart, and I can't wait to see yeah. the updates that so happen smart. for the new, the new ones. Yeah, still love it. Okay, and then you picked up like a brand new. <laughs> handheld oh my gosh i love this so much so i got it when Mm -hmm. it was on sale and i'm sure there's like a black friday sale or something so i did not pay full price for the g cloud Mm -hmm. i think it was Mm -hmm. 
three something. Okay, because it was showing, I think, about four fifty, four sixty. Okay, so maybe that's good pretty to pick pricey. It up on sale. It is pretty pricey. I would, I would buy it on sale. It seems to always be on mm-hmm. sale, so I mm-hmm. definitely bought it for the two hundred dollar price tag, which mm-hmm. uh, for me that's like very cheap when it comes to hardware to play games on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you could check um, Boxing Day too. Yeah, Boxing Day. There's a mm-hmm. lot of people returning them. There's lightly used ones um, mm-hmm. already. Uh, so wow. keep your eyes out. They're always doing something with that. Okay. With Amazing. that in mind, um, Logitech did team up with Xbox to bring Game Pass to the handheld, which is insane. Uh, That's so appealing <laughs> to me. Like that is the number one thing that I'm like, ooh. So there's two things. There's the the game cloud app, which you don't have to download the game. So that is essentially been my um, vampire survivor game pad. Okay. Okay. And it's so tiny and cute and like sturdy and it's so nice to hold. Is um, it light? It's light, so right? light. Heavy. It's so oh. light. It's well, because essentially it's a tablet with like a right. built in handheld, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they also have the Xbox app where you can stream your games from your console or PC to the handheld. So it's almost like a Vita where right. it's like, I forgot about that thing. Yeah, it's kind of like streaming it, which is nice mm-hmm. because if you're going to stream a game from your console or PC, I'd rather do it to the G Cloud than the Steam Deck because of mm-hmm. the size, you know? Yeah, makes sense. Um, That's so cool, though. I love it. I love it mm-hmm. so much. I like if I'm going to go reach for a handheld right now, it's the G Cloud. Mm-hmm. OK, wow. That's really good information. Mine's a switch, but I also only have the switch. But you have the switch. To pick from, we so. need to get you the cloud. We need to, yeah, Xbox. Looks amazing. Hello, hello. <laughs> I need to play Viva Pinata. <laughs> emergency, emergency. I, would I need be to collect the pinatas. That game doesn't come out, considering all of these remakes and remasters. And someone how many mentioned to me that there's a way to play that. So I need to look into that. And Ooh. if that is the case, then maybe I need to get the Logitech G Cloud like immediately. Immediately, because obviously, I have to catch every single pinata. <laughs> Um, so maybe that'll be my new And you need also year. every gadget because I said so. <laughs> yeah, literally. I want all the cool things. Um, okay, so uh, after consoles, we thought we'd dive into a little bit of our favorite headsets. Now, I um, had a bit of a neck injury from a car accident, so usually I wear earbuds because of weight, but there is a headset that's very lightweight that's I still, like, I think I would recommend and do like, and it's the HyperX Cloud Alpha. So that just came out in 2022, but they did have other, like they've, HyperX has always had a variety of headsets that are really lightweight. So this is just the newest version. Um, It's a hundred dollars and it's lightweight. Like, so like, I just, I love that. Like if I was going to get a headset, it would be that one. And I think I would recommend it. It's awesome. I cannot so rave cute. about HyperX enough. I've been so annoying because I want to work with them so badly. Mm-hmm. Hello, let's be <laughs> Hello? friends. Um, not only do I use their earbuds for, and I literally repurchased these because oh, I yeah, love you these did just repurchase so them. Much. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've used these. For, they've lasted for years. Like I'm telling you, mm-hmm. years of just brutal punishment. <laughs> and also, um, I have almost every <laughs> HyperX headset. If that tells you, uh. I Amazing. have really sensitive head for whatever the reason. Like mm. my head's not sensitive when it comes to color or hairstyles or anything. But if I'm right. wearing a headset, mm-hmm. I get like weird, like VR head hurtness where it's like I get sweaty, I get dizzy, my oh, temples weird. hurt. Maybe like, it like sets off your vertigo or something, you know? So, something like, I don't know. Some of these headsets, I'm like, I cannot. I don't know how mm-hmm. you do it. Um, mm-hmm. I primarily use earbuds, but... When I do wear a headset, when I did for a long time, it was the HyperX Cloud. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't tried, I think, I haven't tried the Alpha, but when I play upstairs, I use the HyperX Cloud. Yeah, looks amazing. Yeah, the Alpha is the newest one. I have the pink um, one and the red one and the uh, gray one. <laughs> wow. Okay. I Look, just think next they're so there, cute and them. they're always out of stock. So go get oh, it. Oh, God. Okay, keep your eyes out. You know, it's going to be Boxing Day right away. So. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. And then Logitech has a new, with their kind of like Aurora, that kind of cloud puffy set. Oh, yeah. They came out with the Logitech G735. Oh, yeah. Do you have that one? Oh, yeah. So I also have it's their so cute. the wireless one that has all the different candy colors and, and the ears are a little square and those are okay, but they're not as comfortable as these Aurora cloud ones. It's the G735. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it has HyperX 
rival written all over it because oh, it looks so comfy it's cozy so, not only is it comfy and cozy and squishy and light mm -hmm. but you can add pink and green and like all these fun like accessories to it That's cool and uh it's a dream <laughs> wow it's so comfortable it's beautiful it's actually stunning yeah it's it's wow. beautiful it's versatile you can take it with you you can plug it into your console you can plug it into all sorts of stuff so it has mm -hmm. like the dongle for the aux cable mm -hmm. um so if you're looking for a new headset it's around 200 dollars. Mm -hmm. so it's pretty average in pricing yeah it's right pretty in the middle there for what you get yeah okay uh let's click clack our way over to keyboards and i can't really add too much here because <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest with you I have a custom keyboard made by one of the snacklets and they kind of like pitched together and built me this like breathtakingly beautiful, gorgeous keyboard. And so now that I have a custom keyboard, I, I can't go back. So if you don't want to do that, then don't there do that. There is because, something like, about a custom keyboard because I've been playing around oh in the custom God. world and the mm -hmm. like down to the springs, down to the sensor, yeah um, and the plate the switches like you can customize everything absolutely everything <laughs> they're way heavier too like it's they're not the same okay i never had a custom keyboard now i have a custom keyboard and um actually it's going it's going back home to get fixed it's going all the way back to australia to get fixed and i have to use this other keyboard and i won't name names but like it's not the same <laughs> it's not the same so that's anyway why I, I couldn't really give what my keyboard is because currently it's like a diet custom Mm. with a metal frame and like jelly so maybe, keys like maybe that's the recommend maybe like truly if you haven't if it's in your budget and you can you know hop but into a website but there's so or, much to know about it i would okay that's also a thing too maybe you need i would a just or start someone. being a fan of it and start following mm, accounts that fair. know it and start just mm -hmm. learning the verbiage of the different switches and stuff um if you mm -hmm. are interested in kind of getting a little geeky with it because mm -hmm. when you get into like <laughs> yeah when you get into like doing electric work like i don't do that <laughs> oh no i don't do that no i'm just recommending them i'm not saying you should build it yourself yeah but um. but there are a few keyboards that stuck that kind of stand out to us mm -hmm. um if you don't have the custom room all built um, all in one custom mm -hmm. <laughs> or mm -hmm. not custom but so this Logi one is this is this part of the aurora set too We're yes just all over the new aurora oh, just get the whole set gosh. okay you just get the whole thing literally even the mouse is spectacular i oh my God. i didn't buy the mouse because i have so many mice but i really mm -hmm. want it maybe i need it oh my it. god um it maybe you do we'll talk about mice when we get there but yeah for the keyboard, the Aurora Logitech G713 is the brand new one, mm -hmm. around $200. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You can change the sounds of the click. The cool thing with okay. Logitech is they have the super loud, the medium loud, and the quiet. Mm -hmm. Even the quiet mm -hmm. is still a little bit clicky, but it's okay. it's like a nice uh, a nice sound, a nice humming sound, so, mm -hmm. you, so to speak. And so cool. you do beautiful. get to choose online which ones you want. And they do kind of let you customize a little bit with switches and, and keys and stuff. Okay. I like that. I like a little customization. You know, if you're not going to go like a full custom keyboard, it's nice to have like some saying. Some kind of say look like. they've yeah. always done that really, really well. And it has like this really beautiful inlaid like RGB band mm -hmm. underneath the bottom mm -hmm. of it. And it has mm -hmm. like a more of a retro finish to it. So it kind of has like that grayish blue um finish to the keys and some mm -hmm. accents so it's really 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 beautiful amazing I love okay it. cool <laughs> so and much. you have one other keyboard too that you love it's oh. the asus rose quartz one and i looked it up and it's beautiful it's like pink and gray yes i it's love it so cool obviously you can go get the razor rose quartz uh they're pink all pink no accent colors ra mm -hmm. razor trademarked pink keyboard but if you're looking for something that's not just pink, it has like a pretty big chunk of gray, which is like a light gray, which is kind mm -hmm. of a nice breakup between it all. Um, mm -hmm. I would highly recommend checking out the ASUS pink road ROG pink set because that I use that for five years. Wow. <laughs> uh, and it is really sturdy. Even the mouse, the, the mouse pad is massive. It's the extra large mouse pad. Wow. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, they mm -hmm. obviously make other colors. 
This is just stuff yeah. that we've used that I've really liked. Mm-hmm. And so if you're looking for something that I've used, I really, really like it. Those mm-hmm. are great keyboards. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so Mav has two mics that she would recommend. And I'm kind of definitely in the mood. I'm using the same mic I've got since I very first started streaming. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes like when you start something, it just takes a while to get everything upgraded. So uh, maybe I'll be in the market for one of these. But tell us about, there's two here that you said, if we one day have a cool studio, that yeah. these would be the mics. So we would have two of these or two of those. Yes. And tell us about them. Okay, so currently I'm using... Uh, the tried and true dynamic Shure SM7B. Mm-hmm. Um, it's retailing for just under four hundred dollars. It is a very big purchase, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because not only do you have the the like XLR cable and stuff, you also need a, a mixer for it. Um, okay. There are workarounds to do like a USB into like mm-hmm. a desktop mixer. But I really recommend doing analog and having a box for it to live in and then Mm -hmm. connecting that to your PC. So Okay, so definitely a more complex It's a bit more complex. I have the Go XLR for more specifics, but I have to audio split it twice to get it all to work together. And so Mm -hmm. it's a it is hard difficulty when it comes to audio. Like it's it's taking me so long. Like if it broke today, I would not know how to fix it. Yeah, that's really like getting a stream set up, set up, or even like honestly, just like a gaming setup is. I like, literally have tabs. It's complex. The tech, the troubleshooting for these things, mm-hmm. just in case I forget. I have some bookmarks There's where I'm like, too emergency. much to remember, but yeah, but it just it really is really cool if you do get it set up. Um, there obviously mm-hmm. are other amps and mixers. You don't have to use a GoXLR. You can use right. like, um. Uh, Astro has a really good mix amp mm-hmm. that you can plug into that has one dial, one plug, easy. You right, go. Right, simplifying that for you. Um, but okay. because I am a creator and I have all these different levels and audio and game inputs and sound inputs. This gives and, you more control. Yeah, it's a little bit easier and it's been nice to use when mm-hmm. it works. <laughs> okay, and then what's your secondary recommendation? Okay, if you're looking for plug, go, great quality rivals the shore sm7b you're going to want to get the blue yeti not the not the snowball because they also have a smaller one that looks like a little cute little ball Mm -hmm. it is the yeti it has a stand it's got the little yeti creature it's called the blue yeti it has lots Mm -hmm. of color options there's like the all white there's a pink one there's a black one there's a blue one so many colors um Mm -hmm. you can plug that right in you can just U- uh, USB right into your computer, right into an interface, and you have audio. Mm-hmm. Um, it also has like the noise canceling gate on it, and the and it has different. Settings. It has a couple settings for like if we're if we were recording fr- facing each other using one mic, it would have a setting for that. It has like a room setting. It has like a directional setting. Wow. So lots of choice there. Lots of choice, hundred dollars. So that's not bad yeah. for a microphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you need a like, if you need a good mic and you need an upgrade, that's definitely a good option. I, I love like a plug and play though. Oh like, yeah, I love simplicity. If I'm not in my setup and I'm like at the con- at, like at a different desk or something, I'm mm-hmm. just using a Yeti. Or if mm-hmm. I really want extra audio, I'm just using a Yeti. I have yeah, so many. I feel that. <laughs> Something simplistic. I really get that. Um, if you're looking to judge it a little bit, though, mm-hmm. get the Yeti Pro. It looks mm-hmm. similar. There's not quite as many colors. It's, I think, $120, and it also mm-hmm. has the XLR adapter. So mm-hmm. you can actually plug this into a mix amp. You do get kind of like a deeper, more earthier tone. Like it's a little mm-hmm. bit more decimals for your money. Um, Mm -hmm. I also use that for a long time before really jumping to get this one, um, which I would be very happy with anyways. So yeah, Mm -hmm. um, the specs look really good on it. It's, it's awesome. It's probably, if I had to pick through the three that I had to buy tomorrow and I had to build a certain setup in a certain type Mm -hmm. of confined amount, I would probably Mm -hmm. just go with the pro because you do get a little bit more for your money and Mm -hmm. it is a professional product so right it's very good awesome highly recommend okay uh we're about to wrap things up with mice and monitors i like a i like i'm a pretty simple mouse person um that could possibly be because (laughs) i just started playing keyboard and mouse in january 2022 (gasps) that's right 
I, right. It's crazy how far I've come. I, it's so strange how fast I picked so it up. Like, I have a question. You, yes. so you played a lot of co- like uh, controller. Are you, For were years. you into like any specific type of controller company or anything? Or were you just um, like right out the box? No, just out the box. I went through, so I played a lot of PVP in D1 and I would go through controllers. I would literally wear them out because I played <laughs> so much PVP. I remember. And so there was just always a PS4 controller on my wish list, and I would just always have one like extra in the drawer. Yep. And then I would just get these cute stickers off Amazon and then I would put the stickers on them so they like looked kind of cool. <laughs> No, like literally just out of the box PS4 controllers. So- I remember having to buy co- <laughs> controllers all the time back in the PS4 yeah. era. I was playing so much too. Like I'm like, I feel like they, maybe they could be more durable, but to be fair, I was playing like every day. So, all day long. Literally. You know, <laughs> it was a lot. Um, so now that I'm on keyboard and mouse, I, I had to like, they were, I, they were like, oh, you have to get like a mu- like how many buttons you want on your mouse? And I'm like, what do you mean how many buttons? Like, <laughs> so I didn't, this is like a whole new world to me, right? Like, because I was just like, what I played on my computer was like Neopets, okay? So like, I, like when I had to like map buttons to my mouse. So anyways, I picked. For Neopets. And still, literally, I just <laughs> needed something that had like two buttons, okay? So then I was like, the least buttons. So um, I actually got to try out a few of the different Logitech mice and I went with like a pretty simple one. I like the Logitech G305. It has like um, your normal buttons on top and then just two buttons on the side for your thumb, which was great for me playing Destiny because because like one of them was my melee and the other was like my oh yeah okay special so or something this one also and it comes in colors it's really Are you, cheap. is it's yours really wired cheap. is yours wired or wireless okay i actually had both i had the wired one in white and then it died and so net this is so funny this is how much i like this <laughs> mouse now so then logitech gave me this one at a little like logitech mixer and i had just like kept it because it's my favorite and um, and but now but I hate it because it's like gray and black, like it's ugly. So well, I actually it come in a purple and blue ju- and like just I- so that it was on sale for like Cyber Monday and Black Friday. So like literally, I ordered it in purple. Uh, so I love the purple. I have the wireless in purple. Um, mm-hmm. for if I, I ever the need it, purple. Yeah, because it has like the USB in it, and it's yeah. just so. It's so it's, it's so, so nice cute. on your hand too. Like yeah, it's, so it's nice. the perfect size. Literally, I love it. Also comes in like teal. White. It comes in all different colors, which I'm actually I'm now collecting. So, um, if you I need an affordable that. mouse that's reliable, like I love it. Okay, yeah. I love it. I love a simple. Um, Mav is like a not so simple. Tell me about your. <laughs> tell me about your. Okay, mouse. so I have a long history with mice because I played an MMO called World of Warcraft. And mm-hmm. if you don't know, everything has to be hotkeyed on everything. So I had oh the 12 gosh. buttons on the one side, no, 10 no. buttons on the other side. I had that <laughs> Razer Naga Elite Black Silver Chrome, whatever oh the F is called. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Um, I've had it all. Okay. I've wow. tried I've tried the simple ones with no buttons. I've tried the light ones. I've tried the wireless ones. Mm-hmm. Currently, I have been really loving my uh, Razer Viper Ultimate which is wireless. It comes mm-hmm. in white and black mm-hmm. and pink. And mm. the cool thing is that the dock that it sits on your desk, it's not tape, but it's like sticky. What do you mean dock? So it has like a house. I, I, oh. I just like, I lay it on my house. I can plug it in and I just place it on top of this cool. little triangle that holds it. It's like a little stand. She's okay. like presenting a little. Wow, jeez, <laughs> comes with a stand. She comes with a stand. You're going to embarrass my mouse. So I have to cover its ears. <laughs> oh, she comes with a stand listen. and you get a light show. It has like an RGB light strip and the sticky part. So it yeah, that sounds so cool. It's but I so like nice. my little plain, plain baby potato mouse. But, I love the potato oh mouse God. though. <laughs> Holy. But so I love yeah. it so much. I literally got it for my kids because I was like, you have to have this mouse because wow. it's so light, oh. super light, has a little bit of the grippy feel on the sides mm-hmm. and it has two buttons. Holy. That's it. Wow. So yours has like everything that a mouse can come with. <laughs> Mine is the opposite. But I still like mine. Just I, show, what like, you you I just... literally love yours. I have yours. I like it. That's true. That's fair. But yours has like so many bells and whistles. It sounds fancy. Well, speaking of bells and whistles, the Aurora Oh, yeah, one, you have something. Yeah. I didn't order that one because I was like, oh, I have, have a problem. And then That's I fair. saw it. It literally is at Best Buy. Can you imagine all of these companies 
have product at Best Buy. Like if they mm-hmm. had this at Best Buy when I was like starting out streaming, yeah. mm-hmm. I would be broke also. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. but it looks I, cute. But I got to see it and it has like this, just kind of like on the keyboard, it has like that RGB little band oh, okay. in the middle there where you put your oh, I palm, see it. which is kind cute. of cute. Yeah. Because usually it's, cute. it's like the decal is glowing because my, like mine, the decals are glowing and that nothing else glows. But to right. have like a little bit of I like that under palm Subtle. glow is really, really The cute. buttons on the side are pretty small. It's actually a pretty small mouse. Like I've oh, got okay. famously medium sized male hands. <laughs> okay. Got it. So like I was trying it out because I wanted to mm-hmm. kind of see the size. Is that a Best mm-hmm. Buy? Or was that my Best Buy? Yeah. Um, it fit my hand nice. It mm-hmm. wasn't like it it felt like it could be small. Okay. Yeah, it um, does look a little small. Like it could be more travel or if you have um mm. smaller yeah. if you have average woman hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Female gamer hands. <laughs> Um, our joke is like, oh no, what do I do with these female gamer hands? Help. Oh no. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a little bit more compact. If you have more mm-hmm. of like medium to bigger size hands, I don't think you would enjoy this as mm-hmm. much, but it's really cute. Mm. Okay. And then to wrap things <laughs> up, we're going to switch to monitors. And I actually have never upgraded my monitors since I started being a content creator. So I should absolutely do that. Oh. Um, so I'm not, I'm like, okay with my Samsung monitors, but I got them because they were white and they match my aesthetic. So I wouldn't say that I do or don't recommend them per se. Um, but Mav has like the okay. coolest monitor. Mine is it's the amazing. coolest, but also this is like, I don't think I could ever afford this. Mm, <laughs> so just fair. a heads up, this was extremely gifted to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are a lot of great options online that I can share really quickly. Mm-hmm. But the one I have is currently the uh, Samsung Odyssey G9 ultra wide. We're talking... Mm-hmm ultra wide like it's, it's like three monitors in one like if you don't know what to in like envision i've been to mass house and i it's it's literally three monitors in one like even like with that curve okay yeah. it's almost like um it's like you're in a spaceship okay <laughs> and there's like a like a window sort of visor kind of like around it's like that that's literally what it's like i it's love amazing. it so much it's so and cool i was gonna say no to it oh <gasps> my gosh because i was like I have three monitors. I have two or three mm. monitors. I really like having the extra space to have its own thing. No, this thing can mm-hmm. have its own brain, have its own input. There's four different inputs. You can have four different screens. It can be split six different ways. I almost think it's like too customizable for me. Like it honestly, <laughs> like watching you use it was overwhelming. I like, definitely think that the ultra wides are here to stay. Obviously there mm-hmm. are other versions of an ultra wide that aren't quite as massive as this that i highly recommend Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. i know there's one from alienware which Mm -hmm. is a dell they have like a pretty spectacular um gaming monitor right now um what you want to do is just make sure that you have a high refresh rate on Mm -hmm. your monitor that is what's really going to make it look better Mm -hmm. and also if you can 1080p is okay but if you can get a 1440 high refresh rate, um, Ooh, you're spoiled. Then you are ready for the next generation of gaming because mm-hmm. um, I stream 1080, but I also play 1440, mm-hmm. and then it it transfers to 1080 for streaming. So right, you want to be able to what play games how you want to play. If you're a creator, you want to kind of um, make sure that you can output 1080. Or if yeah. you're recording, you want to do it 1440. I like to record at 1440. Mm-hmm. That way it's just clearer. Yeah, um, nice and crispy. But if you're just gaming, I love a two monitor setup, especially mm-hmm. if you're if you're playing consoles and stuff, you can just connect it to one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I recommend at least 1440 with a higher refresh re- higher refresh rate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or the it's ultra nice wide. <laughs> yeah, right. It's nice to have more than one. Like I like that too because like I'll put my game in the middle and then I've got like Discord and whatever on the side and then stream on the other one. But I think mm-hmm. if I were just playing games, like two would suit me just fine. I just so. use two because three is I is three. like a chat machine, right? 
So yes. I, I've had two and three. I've gone back and forth. Um, and three will usually be like a long, longer, more like uh, skinnier one for chat or mm-hmm. something. Right. Sure. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's pretty common. Um, okay. Well, since it's almost Christmas, when you are listening to this, Mav and I have a little section called Dear Santa, <laughs> where we're going to tell you and Santa what we hope and wish for this year. So what are your thoughts for <gasps> Dear Santa, Mav? Oh my gosh. Dear Santa, this oh. year I'd love some giant <laughs> socks. Oh so my gosh. So I can gosh. mobile game with ease on the couch. <laughs> I'd love to eat lasagna and play lots of games with my friends. <laughs> Okay, you can't see it. I I bought some socks. Really? Yeah. I can't believe I can't even see this right now. <laughs> Normally I can see Mav when we're recording, but OBS was being a little bit stinky today. So um, she I'll can show. see me, but I can't see her. <laughs> I'll take a picture for you. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Um, I am also wearing a fuzzy sock, okay? I just want you to know. They say something cute on them. What do they say? You have a sock they that say... say words? Wait, put your sock up. I can't. <laughs> you're, you're, are you wearing a dress? No. Oh. But typically I am. It says, if you can read this. Okay, here's one. Okay. Here's, <laughs> it's a new picture. If you can read this, bring me coffee. <laughs> okay, so, Aerie, that was a gift. Um, one of our favorite companies, Aerie by American Eagle. Mm-hmm. Um, they made oh, really, yeah. <laughs> really thick <laughs> socks like them. yours. Oh, I love them. They're like immediately toasty when you put your foot in. Yes. So I, yes. I am now a part yes. of the weird Pewis looking sock. It's not weird. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Pewis. It does look How like dare. a Pewis warmer. It absolutely doesn't. It doesn't. Ew. <laughs> no. Maybe you just need more. You need to be, you need to be just like totally engulfed in <laughs> the s- slipper socks. Give me all the fleece lined socks. Literally, it's cold here. Okay. It's anyway, really cold. Le- I'll do your it's Santa. Snow here, actually. Oh, really? <gasps> really? Yeah, it's gonna snow. Wow. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, oh, dear oh, Santa. Oh. This year, I hope for the new Logitech handheld and I think some cool stuff to go with it. Like maybe if it has a case or like some cute stickers, like I always like to have like soot sprites or something Miyazaki on them and like some cute games to go with it. And also another acorn ornament for my tree because every year I get an acorn ornament for my acorn themed tree. Which isn't, which is spectacular by the way. It's so cute. Your acorn tree is amazing. I maybe took some really, really cute um, kind of dark and cozy nighttime photos for fan house with my little <laughs> acorn tree. So um, I also have personal fan house under snack list. So if you want to cozy up and see something cute and you want to see my tree, that's where you can do it. So cute. It's literally so cute. Mm-hmm. Yay. Oh my gosh. Well, it's almost Christmas. Even though we're recording this ahead of time, we wish you the most wonderful, merry, warm, welcoming, happy Christmas ever. And um, I'm just so grateful that we got to spend this year doing so many fun things for Dear Video Games and so thankful that you took time to tune in so close to Christmas. Yay. Uh, We will see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. Yay. Good night. Merry Christmas.